The ability to share content via wireless connection in a conference room or even at home on your Cisco device is the topic of today's video. Now, there are a number of different ways in which you can do this depending on what your IT department has enabled. The first is via Cisco proximity. Now, this method has been around for a while and it requires the WebEx app. The second method is via Miracast, and this is a capability that you can use to share uh, wirelessly from your Windows machine. And the third method is via Apple AirPlay, and that's really the focus of this video. So let's talk about AirPlay a little bit. What AirPlay does, it gives you a simple and familiar way to share content from your iPhone, iPad, or from your Mac. So anything on the screen that you wanna put on a Cisco device, you can do that via Apple AirPlay. So how can you tell if AirPlay is actually enabled on your Cisco device? Well, it's actually quite simple. Look at the upper right-hand corner of the home screen, and if you see the AirPlay icon, you should be able to share content from your iOS device. Now, if you're using AirPlay at home, the Cisco device needs to be in the same Wi-Fi network as your iOS device for this to work. Now, when you're in the office, just hop on your Wi-Fi, and if it is in fact enabled by your IT organization, then it should just work as well. So the question is, how do you use it? Well, it's actually quite simple. If you have a Mac, click on Control Center in the upper right, then click on Screen Mirroring. Then you should see the name of the Cisco device that you wanna stream content to. Usually it will present you with an AirPlay passcode on the Cisco device. So just look for that on the screen. Take that number and enter that onto the prompt on your Mac. And then your Mac screen content will magically show up on your Cisco device. Now, if your content has audio, maybe it's a YouTube video that you're sharing. It's gonna play flawlessly as well. Now to stop sharing, just go back to Control Center, click on Screen Mirroring again, then click on the name of your Cisco device, and the wireless share will automatically stop. Now you can also share from an iOS device via iPhone or an iPad. Just simply swipe down diagonally from the upper right-hand corner, click on Screen Mirroring icon, choose your Cisco device, and enter the AirPlay passcode shown on the Cisco device, and your iOS device screen will magically show up on your Cisco device. Now check this out. This is an added bonus. There are advanced controls on Cisco Touch devices like the Desk Pro and Cisco Boards for apps like YouTube, where you can pause, fast forward, turn on closed captioning, etc. It's pretty cool, right? Now to stop sharing, go back to the iOS device, swipe down diagonally again, and then click on screen mirroring icon, and then your share will stop. So that's how you use AirPlay on a Cisco desk or conference room device. Remember, this content will not only show up in the room you're in, but if you're in a WebEx meeting, you can also share that content into the meeting. So folks that are remote can see it as well. Just make sure that you click that green share button that's next to the content. It's an easy and familiar way to collaborate with others. Now, hopefully you found this video useful. If you did, please like and subscribe. This is John Seaton, the Collaboration Specialist. Thanks for watching.